Ooh. Oof. Okay. This could get this could get yucky in a minute. Uh okay, I gotta go back here. Pop that one open. I need one here. And I need one here. Oh, oh my. There we go. Okay, um Chris. Yes. Nightbird calls out to you and says that two ninjas just popped up in front of him. He may need help. So oh don't boy. don't move yet. Don't move yet. I'm about to flip a card. It's the end of the round. I'm about to flip a card for the new round. Um Uh-huh. I know what I'm doing. No, no, I don't. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, no, I got it, I got it, I got that. Okay, so that goes down to two. I'm, I'm trying to keep track of, of how this is supposed to work, because you guys have ninjas coming out of the woodwork, literally. Um, okay, so we've got that. Okay, so nothing doing there. Um, oh, what am I doing? Uh, okay. Or round two, okay. So, uh, Peaches, the ninja that you have at your door, at the glass, uh, the bulletproof glass door. Yes. Uh, keep in mind, bulletproof does not mean unbreakable. Uh, right. But uh, uh, is looks like he's getting ready to smash the butt of his electric katana into uh, the glass on that door. It's going to require a pretty good strength check from him. Um, Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, so we're going to get a couple of things out of the way first. Um, Artorius, uh, you and Andon need to give me a strength test uh, at an, uh, an 8, please. And it, uh, uh, is there any kind of athletics? I keep, I keep They need to add athletics to this game because uh, it's just silly. Anyway. Hey, D and D has that. Yeah, it, well, I know this game used to have that, and then they took it out. All right, so here goes Andon. Ten. All right. Ooh, twenty-nine. Okay, so Andon. <laughs> hey, I uh, look. You've got you've got two possibilities left. Okay. Oh, I never did uh, get rid of that romance card, did I? Uh, passes romance. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, so <laughs> you've still got two possibilities, and do you have anything in your pool that you can use? Let me pop over to... Not anymore. Uh, Artorias, Coup de Grasse, and Martyr. Uh, well, you know, you could drop from the ladder and see if you die. <laughs> uh, let's go with the possibility. Okay, you want me to reduce it, or do you want to reduce it? I'll let you reduce it. Okay. So that, see, that the first time? see, that's much much better. That's just how things work. So here's yeah, what gentlemen. here's what happens. You okay. go your 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 hands start to loosen from the ladder a little bit because you've got a little bit of of human fat on your on your palms of your hands, okay. But then you see like three or four different options before you. The first option is that you fall to your death or at least a broken back. Uh, at the bottom. Uh, the second one is say you slip off and you pull your 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 shoulders out of alignment because you you uh, you you drop you you actually catch the ladder in time so that you don't fall down. Um, the third one has you feeling like you're slipping off the ladder but then you grab a hold of it better and, and are able to hold on. Uh, and then the fourth one is that you are able to advance with Andon. Andon just like all of a sudden picks up several steps in 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 a short period of time, almost like double, almost double the number of steps. So you choose the last option, your uh, uh, and and manage to keep up with him pretty well. And you you as a Storm Knight are none the wiser. That anything untoward was going to happen. 
Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Um, put Andon down here like that. Okay. Uh, so you two managed to make your way up pretty quickly. Um, Chris, what are you doing? Well, if he asks for help, I'll go help him. Okay, are you walking or running? Uh, I'll run. Okay, so go ahead and, and pretty much put yourself at that at that door. Because, um, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say that you, you've got enough to just get out into the hall. But here's the problem. You had to get out the door. The door had been closed behind... Um, uh, Nightbird. That's a hard name to remember. I don't know why. Um, so you could probably move to about right here or right here. Okay. And then uh, in route, you could probably spend time drawing a pistol or getting something ready as far as that goes. Okay. Now, well, the. Oh, I haven't done the new card yet. So let's see. Okay, heroes are supposed to go first, so you got lucky on that one. Um, okay. Uh, oh, I need to add these two ninjas. Uh, so those two ninjas are added, and then... Oh, wrong one. Okay. So yeah, heroes get to go first. So that's... that. Uh, Artorias and Andon are done. Let's go ahead and deal with you and Nightbird. Now, do you have uh, any kind of a plan whatsoever? Uh, I see the ninja. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use pyrokinesis. They're within 25 meters. Well, they're with... Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say that you can you can see the ninja. You should be able to, to see quite a bit. Um, peaches. Yes. Okay, you see these ninjas are, are running in, and you see on another monitor that Chris is running out. At that time, since it's not going to do any good to have the ninjas in the darkness, uh, uh, you flip on the lights where they were. Otherwise, Chris and, and, uh, and uh, Nightbird are not going to be able to see them. Now, Chris, hold on just a minute. I'm going to... I'm going to open this and roll it twice. I want... Let's see. What would it be? I'm going to have each of these guys roll trick uh, versus a standard of 10. So that's that ninja. And he failed. And that is that ninja. Oh, nope. he definitely failed. Okay, so so heroes get to go first. Let's let's try this again. Heroes get to go first. Uh, so we took care of Artorius and Andon. Uh, we're taking care of Chris and Nightbird now. So Chris, okay, Peaches, that was a good roll. Um, but uh, random. random. <laughs> so Chris, what was your plan? Uh, my plan was. Uh, pyrokinesis, just at that ninja. I'm just target. I'm just, you know, targeted. Okay, now is it just pyrokinesis at that one? Let's see pyrokinesis. Uh, Let's look at it. It's a straight shot. So that effect that I did earlier, that's you know, would be from here, air straight shot. That's the what I would cover. Okay. Let me ask you this. Um, let's let's take a look at something first. Let's put this out of the way. Uh, let me get myself together, if you don't mind. Let me get the ninjas, because these ninjas will be stymied when it's their turn, which means they will be further stymied. Um, so let's see. Their turn toughness is a 10 including their armor uh, which is Ira Mesh clothing um, pyrokinesis is fire so it affects the least amount of armor which is still going to be the two so there's they're gonna maintain that armor would you like to use that roll of 19 that you just made legitimately to try and and take both of these guys out with a multi-action Sure. 
Okay. So then the 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 or the multi-target, I mean. Uh, the multi-target is going to push the target number up to 12. You rolled a 19. Let's look at the uh, bonus chart. Okay, so a 19 gets you a bonus of 6. There's the pyrokinesis, just so you... Huh? There's all the things for the pyrokinesis and the chat just there. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that is that is a great idea. Um, so let's see. Uh, targets Dodger Dex. We went against that. He's hit for 14 damage. You're going to hit both of these guys. Uh, let's see. That's... 10, 11, 12, and you rolled, uh, let's see, uh, we got to figure out what your total is. What is your pyrokinesis total? So a 19, uh, I'm closing things again. That's what I get for okay, closing. So 19 gives you a plus skill, 6. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, what? Your kinesis skill is what? Plus 6. Uh, that would be a five plus six, eleven. Oh, okay. Wait, no, that's not right. What is what is your kinesis skill value? A uh, total value? Yeah. Okay, you've got four columns. The first one is adds. The second one is your attribute. The the third one I think is your value. Let me. <sighs> okay, let me. Uh, I'll tell you. It's like the adds are five. The total is 16. Okay, so you always go with your total of 16. Okay? okay. Because that is your your adds plus your attribute. Okay? So 16 plus 6 is 22. All right? Uh, which beats the 12 by 10 points. That means you get two bonus dice of damage to 14. So please roll your bonus dice for damage. And those should be in your in your macro bar. Let me get down here. Oh, okay, so that's 11 plus... Oh, that's right, 10 plus 5, because the, the one that rolled a 6 only counts as a 5, plus it rolls again. Uh, so that's a total so of plus 15. <laughs> 29 points of damage to the both of them. 29 points of damage to the both of them. And there's fire in that area. Okay. Now, uh, I know it's a straight shot to both of them, but they catch on fire, and when they fall to the floor, the floor catches fire. Okay. So let's see. How can I? Um, so let's see. This ninja is which one? Okay, fine. That's that ninja. Oh, wait. Hold on. So he's dead. And then that ninja. Oh, wait a minute. Why didn't that show up? Okay, that ninja. He's dead. So you, you just killed outright two ninjas. Okay. Um, who were in really bad shape to begin with. Um, but all of this area. Let's see if we can free draw here. Draw freehand. And can I have it be red? That's the trash can settings. Okay, settings. Oh, good. So let's take it to a brighter red than that. And line opacity is 1. Smoothing factor is 0.5. So that should be the default. Okay, so this area uh, right there. See that? Uh, yep. Okay. That area right there is now on fire. Okay. Both of these corners here and here are on fire. The, I guess the tiles are on fire, but they'll probably go out here in a minute. So Yay, fire! Ah, fire. Okay. So the, um, that was your round, and that was very, very, very good. Quick reaction time. Uh, I'm, I'm... So that area right there is on fire. Yes, that area right there is on fire. You could probably just leave that there, and that's good. Yeah, um, plus my color is red, so that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not the one who set the fire this time. <laughs> 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 okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Close that and delete that. There you go. So there's there's your fire. 
That's a fire. Roll Charlie around a little bit. He'll be all right. Uh, so <laughs> then, uh, Nightbird, let me get back up to the proper lair. Nightbird is going to go again. Uh, now, she's at a penalty of, she should be a penalty of four. I believe it is. All out attack. She did an all out attack last round. Um, but be very vulnerable until the end of your next turn. Okay, so she is going first. Um, she's very vulnerable. That does not affect her skill rolls, and the tank is not going to shoot her before her very vulnerable is gone. So, uh, Electric Katana again. Okay, oh, wait, I forgot. Let's go ahead and... Oh. <laughs> Let's take off the targeting from her. Put the targeting on that thing. Good Lance. Okay. And I don't I don't need that open. Why is that open? Uh, let's see. So electric katana. Let's roll that. Um, armor is already accounted for. No multi action. No multi target. Um. She started with an all-out attack. I am not going to have her all-out attack since you guys don't have a... Okay. Failure? What are you talking about, failure? Okay. Nani? <laughs> I am going... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, what cards does she have in her pool? Oh, I don't need that. I need over here. So, let's see. Yes. Um, wait a minute. What happened? Where'd she go? Uh, and I can't drag that down, of course. Something's not right here. Hang on. Chris, Peaches, Rios, Andon, Artorias. Why didn't... Okay. Oh, I know why. Because I hit that one instead of the targeting. This one, I need to target. I'm a dope. Okay. So... Nightbird is open, and good guys get to go first. Let's make sure we rearrange that. Okay. Those two are dead. Okay. And Electric Katana. Boy. Oh, I'm kind of getting caught behind here. Sorry about that. All out attack. Did she already roll? Nightbird. Yeah, she already rolled, and it was a 9 uh, versus... Come on, pop open. The KR-75. Oh, man, I hate those things. Okay, so the KR-75... Toughness, or... Not toughness. Uh, dodge. Uh, no, it's not going to be dodge. I guess it is going to be dodge. Is it 12? So, Nightbird is going to miss anyway. She's off by three. Uh, Nightbird has Adrenaline and Adrenaline. So let's see. Add plus three to Dexterity, Strength, or Related Skill. Okay, so that, that applies. So with a 12, she'll get a hit, um, but it's going to be a basic hit. So I'm going to have her go ahead and play that Adrenaline. Okay. And it's Attack or Taunt for this round so she is now she can get back successfully her card because that takes her up to a 12 okay but it's going to be basic damage the electric katana is strength plus four so that's uh yeah strength on her is nine so that's 13 versus a 17 and she has no bonus dice so the attack was successful uh, the, um, what is this? The attack was successful, the, uh, the damage not so much. Okay, there we go. Hit the plus symbol, Paul. Okay, and then she'll get to move a card into her pool at the end of the turn. All right, so that's that for them. Um, peaches. You, uh, oh, wait a minute. That's right. The The tank did not get to fire yet. It's all heroes right now. 
So is there anything that you want to do um, to try and dissuade this ninja from hitting you? Now the glass is bulletproof. Um, is there anything else you can think of that you might do? Um, I kind of want to play my flurry card, do a, a taunt. Okay. And an attack. So you're you're going to go outside of the the protection of the booth. Um, well, I'm I'm assuming he's going to break in eventually, yeah. Okay, so let's hold up on that. Uh, you can play your flurry card, uh, uh, pretty much at any time during the round, I think. Okay. But, well, since since he's just trying to break in, I I'm going to do a taunt. You said he's trying to break in through the clear window. Yes, yes, he is. I proceed to do some very, very insulting gestures at him. Okay, let's let's see if you get a bonus out of this. What kind of insulting gestures or words are you well, trying I'm, to I'm give? Flipping him off, okay. both handed, with you know, you know, you're so lame. <laughs> you can't, <laughs> can't get me. You can't, can't even... get me. Na -na 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 -na. Yeah, 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 really. He's more like a bug on a windshield than an attacking ninja. He calls that tough. <laughs> okay. I, I'm, I'm really um, in, as insulting as I can come up with. Uh -huh. That is a very unique taunt. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. A very dirty, dirty taunt. So let's see if I can't roll. Yeah. Um, hmm. How macho is this guy? <laughs> well, let's see. Girl. He's girly, girly style. You Very know funny. what? You know what? Go ahead, and I'll give you a bonus of two on that. And, you know, just type it down in that other modifiers box at the bottom. Sure. Let's see. So I guess that's taunt. That's charisma. Taunt. And, uh... Mm -hmm. Bonuses. Where is that? Roll. Uh, I should be at the bottom. In other modifiers. Other modifiers. Oh. Um. Uh, I'll just type two. Just um. um very insulting. Okay. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> and just put it. You don't have to put a plus or anything. Just a two. Uh, now, if it was a negative, you definitely have to put the, the minus sign. I I don't know why the difference is, but. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so let's let's see if I can. Oh. Oh. oh when I'm skilled at this, yes. Okay, that's 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 a player's call right there. Twenty-two versus ten. Uh, well, no, no, that's only twelve above. So, um, do you want him uh, very vulnerable or very stymied, or vulnerable oh. and stymied? What's the difference between the two? Okay, for uh, stymie, that affects all of the individual skills. Vulnerable affects any uh, defenses. Make him very, uh, wait, the, the sty <coughs> you know, the one that uh, affects all his skills, and then he really won't be able to get in because he will be too uh, stymied. Mm -hmm. Vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, now wait a minute, okay. So you understand vulnerable is just his defenses, right? Do you want to fight so this guy? Stymie. Yeah, the stymie. This guy becomes so frustrated that he just he can't bust that glass. Okay. And, and, and I'm going to proceed to laugh at him some more. Okay. Rub, <laughs> rub it in, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and run. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm going to go back the way that I was going. Let's go ahead and take care of uh, the KR-75 versus Nightbird. And we'll see how that goes. Nightbird. Okay, so the KR-75 is going to fire again. It, it's it's going to be a plus four. So targets dodge. Oh, can't do that yet. Can't do that yet. i got to change targets. Okay, take the target off of there. Put the target on there. There we go. Now, KR-75, Nightbird. Um, okay, that's not Matt. Okay, 
I'm going to get back to where you guys are at. Um, uh, never mind. Emergency averted. Okay. Uh, well, now get over here. Uh, let's see. The SC Kyogo T11s. He's doing dual weapons. Again, so that just raises his burst from short to long, so that gives him a plus four. It's not an all-out attack, it's not a multi-target, and roll it. Okay, 18. Ouch. So 16 versus 14, so he gets that the robot gets no uh, bonus dice, but night and Nightbird only suffers two shock again. So that's four. Okay, that's Nightbird. Okay, Peaches. It is now the turn of the ninja to try and break into the glass, and his stymie should give him a negative effect. Um, I'm going to count it as an attack with the electric katana. Okay, uh, because that is the weapon that he is wielding but he's going to automatically have a penalty that's going to be taken as a result of that and he is going to all out attack against the glass now it's it's uh oh i can't do that yet i've got to take targeting off of nightbird <laughs> <laughs> okay so i'm going to have to set a um i'm going to have to set a penalty here it is bulletproof glass, so concealment, cover, um, armor mod, that's a vehicle chassis, car door, six inches, plus of wood. I'm going to count it as that, so the, the uh, armor mod for that is going to be a plus four, uh, which is, a, of course, a penalty of four for him. So I'm going to go ahead and put that at hard, or 14, do, do. It is an all-out attack, so regardless of whether he succeeds or fails, he will be very stymied. Um, he's uh, already stymied at minus two, uh, so he'll be st very stymied and uh, vulnerable. Okay, if he fails, and he fails like a big dog, and he has no possibilities whatsoever. So here's what I'm going to do. He fails on a nasty, nasty scale. Okay, so I'm going to remove that. I'm going to take that one on and make him basic vulnerability. Now, you see those things in mind. You see that he is very angry, and you see that he bounces off of. Um, uh, he bounces off of uh, the glass. It literally vibrates against him and rebounds him back a few steps. He hit the glass that hard. It put a chip in the glass um, and it knocked off a retaining ring uh, for the for the the end of his sword. Okay? So uh, is yeah. So do you still want to attempt to flurry uh, okay that system sounds I'm gonna shut off discord sounds too because I don't want them recording um, oh, wait, did this card for a successful taunt um, I'm sorry what's that again didn't you say uh, taunt was approved uh, yes attack and taunt are approved actions but I, I've got the question for you. you you've got the card from the taunt you can go ahead and draw that one that's not a problem okay um, mm -hmm. uh, do you want to use your flurry to attack him because you could play your flurry right now get your round to be able to step out and take advantage of his vulnerable and very stymied. Yeah, I kind of do. Okay, go ahead and play your flurry. So I, I think that would be a, a a good use of it. I think so um, too. Let's see. 
Where is it? Okay, so you have to go right. into your card hand. There you go. Okay, so you play your flurry. Uh, take your round. Hmm. So you, you open up the door and what? Shove a shotgun in his face? Pretty much. Okay, here's what I want you to do. Roll me a basic dexterity. Okay, uh, let me let me get into your shotgun real quick. Uh, sure. Because all sure. of the rules for doing those attacks uh, is in your shotgun. There it is. Oh, wait a minute. You can't use your shotgun. It, it's not jammed anymore. Okay, why didn't... Why didn't that get modified? Hang on. You're absolutely right. I remember that you it was between scenes and you had you had done away with that issue. So, um now the rules. At ranges from one to ten meters, aka point blank, the knight may make a dexterity roll. A failure is worth two shock to the target, but grants them plus two against the knight. Okay? Um a st uh, which would go until the end of your next turn, uh, which is basically like a stymie against you almost. A standard or good result allows a, uh, for a standard two hit roll with bonus to be made with plus one bonus die of damage. Okay, so if you do a standard two hit roll and you roll two bonus dice, you get to roll three. Okay, gotcha. an outstanding success. Um, which is 15 or above or more the, the, the roll, you get to roll two additional bonus dice. Yahoo! Okay. Alrighty. So, so just a standard dex roll, you said? Uh, yeah, make a standard dex roll, and let's, let's figure that out if you get anything additional. Alright. Uh, no bonuses or anything like that? Um, no. Against his... His defenses. It's which, just oh, a straight. Very, very it's funny. it's just a straight dex test versus a ten. Okay. Okay. So you have a standard success. So you get to make a standard two hit roll, separate of what you just rolled, and when you do damage, you get an additional bonus dice. Okay. Okay. So now so, go ahead and roll two hit. Uh, oh wait! Don't forget to target. Oh. Uh, I don't see my target. Uh, my target. he's on the he's on the screen right in front of you. Uh, you're you're highlighting him in red. Well, I, he's only he's not blind. Hang on a okay. second. Oh, oh he, I see him. Okay, you see him. Right. All right, that so one? yep, that one. So I think oh. you just take your cur cursor over the top of him and hit uh -huh. T on your keyboard. Okay, hit T. There you go. All he right. is now marked. Right. So and then find my shotgun. Where's my rogue tent? There it is. And just roll it. Yep. Attack roll. Just roll it. All right. No uh, bonuses or anything. Just extra bonus to. Um, that's it. Just extra bonus to damage. So, so roll your. Roll your firearm. Okay. So you hit him with a 16 versus a 13. That's not going to get you any bonus dice. Do you? Uh, let's see. You have. Uh huh. Peaches, no, that sees initiative. You really can't add to that unless you want to throw a possibility at it and you've got four to really take care of the guy. But you automatically have a bonus dice that you can roll. Um, so I suggest rolling your bonus dice and then determine if you need anything else. Uh, you're probably going to want something else because he's only yeah. going to take two shock with that. Now and That's not... Any good. I'm definitely spending a possibility. Okay. Spend a, spend a possibility, and let's see how it goes. Spend a possibility. But uh, actually, the possibility is going to go to your attack, and then we'll apply the plus one from your roll. So go ahead and oh. roll your possibility. Uh, do I ro scroll up, I guess, to the uh, standard success and roll po the possible? Correct. Pick possibility from there? Gotcha. Correct. There now, we go. Do you, that. Oh, very nice. Okay. So... Uh, let's see. Where are you? All right. So that's your dex, fire combat. Okay, and then you have an outstanding success, uh, twenty-five versus thirteen. Uh, but he, the damage that you have of fourteen from the shotgun versus the ten, uh, it, it only gets him two shock. Now, now, you are more than ten points above. 
So that's a total of three bonus dice you get to roll against this guy. One of them is already at a one, so roll two more. So that's a total of three. Okay, so that's total of, total bonus of four. Um, so that's, you know, that's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, 18 total. So let me see. Uh, some of this is... It says, it says one wound, two shock. Yeah, it says on there one wound and two shock, but I think at 18, so that's eight above. Okay, yeah. That still falls in the one wound and two shot category. I think that's all he's got is the one wound and two shot. Yep, one wound. And, well, I'll put the two shock there, but uh, uh, it's not going to make any difference at all. So is that the guy? Nope, that's not the guy. That's that's not the guy either. Where's the other ninja? Did, did that ninja get removed by accident? Hold on. Put him on there, and then I'm going to kill him. Okay, so he is done. Dead, dead, dead ski. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and remove these three ninjas from the combat. Uh, remove combatant. Gesundheit. Thank you. You bet. Okay, and then do, do you guys want me to just make these guys invisible or remove them from the screen or leave them where they are? Up to you. Uh, okay. Well, as an experienced DM, what do you think would be the best option? As an experienced DM, I'm just looking to clear clutter. So in, in it away. Yeah, these guys can be clutter. So out, out, out. Okay. There you go. Uh, now, whether the fire spreads or not, um, hmm. Well, at this point, uh, if it's actually a firefighter, the I the sprinklers or something would go off. You've got a point. Let's see if they activate. Um, you know what? I let's see if they activate this round on a two through six. They activate. Okay, so they activate. No problem. All right. So, <laughs> but. Why couldn't my bonus dice do that? <laughs> Fun while it lasted. Yeah, my bonus dice love me. Um, okay. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to be a jerk, really. So let's see. Is that the... That's the end of the round. So let me modify this. And... Oh, come on. Double, double. And then I got to figure out what else I am updating. Okay. That's two for round three. Ooh, okay. One per round after for two rounds. Okay. Um, there we go. That's perfect. Uh, let's see. Uh, Pan Pacifica, I wish this would have stayed open. Uh, hello. There we go. Okay, so that one. All right, I got to modify that because there's one more coming. Okay. Now on round four. Okay, no, that goes down to round one. So that's not going to show up yet. It is... Okay. Peaches, just as you blow the other guy away, you hear a door slam down the hallway. Okay. Uh, and another ninja uh, shows up. Let's see. It's 8.30. We're doing okay on time. Another ninja shows up, but is not in front of you yet. Uh, will be by the time the next round comes around. Um, let's see. Does anybody... I see there's a Seize Initiative card. 
in in the uh, in a pool. Do do any of you want to keep this card? Oh, oh, we can't do that yet. Um, everybody gets to put a, a card into their pool from their hand. Okay, so Rios. Uh, see, that's a glory. That's a second wind. Yeah, I'm going to put that second wind into the pool. And Andin can use that. There she is. So that's three cards she's got in the pool so far, but she didn't do any attacks, and neither did Andon. Uh, um, I did a successful attack. Do I get a second card for that? Uh, as a matter of fact, you do, because you did a flurry. Uh, so you got one card for the taunt, and you got one card for the attack. Um, ooh, that reminds me. Um, Nightbird did a successful attack, and Chris, you did a successful attack. Um, so you get a card, and Nightbird gets a card. She didn't do any damage, but she did do a successful attack. So, okay, so let's make sure. Oh, no, I did add that card. I did add a card, so I got to put another one in there. Second Wind, Glory, um, Step A. I'm going to put Second Wind for... Um, for Nightbird. Let's see. Artorius, you've got three. Andon doesn't get any. Second Wind and Adrenaline for Nightbird. Master Plan and Disconnect and Second Wind for Rios. Boy, lots of Second Winds going in there. That could be a good thing. Uh, Pool. Uh, Coup de Gras for Peaches and Seize Initiative, and then Precision and Supporter for Chris. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, I'm going to close this for the moment. Now, now it's time. Do um, Peaches, do you want to use your Seize Initiative to keep the current card on the stack? Or uh, let's make sure that we read this properly. Play at the beginning of the round. Okay, so I, I have to trade the card anyway uh, to keep the current drama card for another round or flip a new one after the card for this round is revealed. So, uh, so the new card, okay, let's make sure I get this right. The new card is time for action. Heroes get to go first. Villains go, get to go second. There is nothing, uh, there are no specials, but the uh, attack and trick are usable uh, to gain cards. Excellent. I want to keep this one. Okay, so just hold on to your season initiative then. Um, okay. So. Uh, are very powerful in this game, folks. What's that? Taunts are very powerful in this game. Oh yeah, that. Uh, but your role—you got to admit, your role was extraordinary. So, most folks don't roll that well. I was also able to describe rather graphic, without being very graphic, about what I was doing. Yeah, I, I appreciate the not being very graphic. <laughs> um, okay, uh, so let's see, Artorius and Andon, uh, you keep yes. climbing. You, you keep climbing the ladder, and uh, you think. Give give me a fine test. Okay. And I'll do the same thing with Andon here. Gotta zoom out real quick. Still haven't fixed that problem, huh? I have no idea how to fix the problem still. Uh, you should be able to adjust yeah, your, yeah. your resolution. So, I mean, I tried that last time. It didn't work. Okay, so Andon I'm, doesn't see it. I'm almost there. <laughs> Almost there. Hold on. I can't remember how far out I need to zoom. Well, you went to fifty percent last time. Ah, uh, just right out of sixty-seven percent. Dead coming. This doesn't make any sense to me. How your how your resolution is that small? I I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to come over and see what's going okay. on. Okay. What's the uh, What's the uh, uh, ten? Uh, ten. Okay. Yep. Target number is a ten. 
Okay, no. I just missed it. No, no, no. No, you're fine. You're fine. Um, neither of you sees... You... Okay. You feel some cool air from above. Or, no. No, that wouldn't be correct. You feel some humid air from above. It's it's a little bit wet on the skin, uh, but it's not hot. It's still cool enough that uh, all you feel is the damp. Okay? Uh, this is very good or very bad. <laughs> I'm going to let you wonder about it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Yep. All right. Uh, Chris, what is your next move? Actually, uh, you know what? Give me a fine test first. Um, okay. It's going to have a difficulty of 12. And roll. Okay, it, it standard uh, success. Defender wins. So you you have a standard success. You hear noise back here. Uh, hang on. Where? Oh, you hear noise back here, and you see a ninja as you turn around to look at it is right behind you. Well, hello there. <laughs> Do you want to turn around, or are you still going to try and help with the tank? General Kenobi. <laughs> uh, at least someone got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, your your voice uh, the is... The game's paused. Oh, hey, the game is paused. Um, <laughs> you are... Um, you are... Uh, you have a deeper voice than he does. So I didn't catch it straight off. Well, hello there. Um... <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, heroes go first. Chris, you turned around. Um, I'm going to take care of all the heroes first, and then uh, everybody else. What would you like to do? Uh, boom! Boom! Firepower. Boom! Boom! Firepower. Okay. So. So uh, now, wait a minute. Are you? Does that mean you're shooting at him or you're pyroing? <laughs> Pyro. Okay. <laughs> yeah, at least the fire will block off the exits. Uh, yeah, including yours. <laughs> well, I have another exit, and it's called the window. Well, that's true. That's true. Might be some difficulties with that. So, okay. go ahead. And roll. Oh, now, wait a minute. You didn't target him yet. I did. <laughs> no, you didn't. There's no target dot on him. I did. Attack missed target. anyway. Roll the six. Hold on. I don't see your dot on him. Is is what the problem is. If you had targeted him, a dot should be there like that. The red one. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't there a moment ago. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Versus 13 Dodger Dexterity. His dodge is indeed a 13. Okay. But you missed. Um, it's only off by one point. Uh, let's see. Precision or Supporter. Neither of those is going to help you. So wait a minute. You had two Supporter cards? Yep. Wow. Okay. So... Um, Anybody have anything they might want to trade? No, nope, doesn't look like it. This, uh, reconnect, second wind, adrenaline. Nope. So you miss. Uh, you have three possibilities. Do you want to try and use one? I have two possibilities, and how do you only have two possibilities? I read you as three. <coughs> Uh, yeah, you one. have three. I... Did you use one? What? Uh, how did I gain the possibility? Oh, that's right. Uh, I gave you one for... You did something of just like a half an hour or an hour ago that was really, really smart. So, um, oh, the, the pyrokinesis of the two, uh, the two ninjas and your oh. roll was very, very, very good. So you have three. 
Look before you leap, my young Padawan. Huh. I don't know why that red dot didn't show up before, but you've definitely had him chosen. Huh. So, uh, so do you want to spend one, or... I can miss one attack. You can miss one attack? Okay. So that is your attack for the round. Um, let's see, did I... I don't remember if I did or not. Okay, well, anyway, put him up here. Uh, okay, so then I'm going to take care of Nightbird versus the KR-75. Come on, KR-75, there we go. Okay, so I've got to uh, target the KR-75, and then I'm going to... The electric katana is going to get into it again. Uh, target melee weapon, dodger dexterity, walking... She is not doing an all-out attack because she doesn't like the, the the very stymied. So, let's see how this goes. Oh, that was on a 16 and it rolled over. No. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> uh, Nightbird has an adrenaline card, but it... 10 not target melee no. weapons. <laughs> It'll work. It'll get, get it over. It would, but it, it would only get her basic damage, and that would be like two shock. No, it wouldn't even get her that, because her damage is 14, and its armor is 17. Hey, what about that uh, sword? Uh, I took a look at her frequency. It said it will give her strength plus 5. Uh, the one... Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Gear. Very bottom. Uh, Yabutu Kon Tokonda's uh, katana. She turned that in. Uh, she turned that one into oh. the, uh, to the, uh, uh, Delphi Council. Sorry. Uh, turned over to 